Welcome to the Immigration Evaluation course. My name is Juan and I am so happy that you're here with me today. So if you're here, it's because you want to learn how to navigate and write amazing, powerful immigration evaluations. I am a counselor here in the state of North Carolina, a licensed professional counselor, and I've been writing these cases for a long time. To date, over 100 cases, and this is really a work that I am very passionate about. And it's maybe why you're seeing so many smiles on here, my excitement. I'm passionate about the work and I'm passionate that you are here and you want to add this niche, this specialty of writing immigration evaluations to your clinical practice. So I want to share with you the breakdown of the course so that you're able to log in, you're able to look at, okay, this, this is the breakdown of the course and this is the order I want to engage in. So first with the course, you're going to see a welcome message. And then that welcome message is really just me saying hi to you. There's going to be an invitation to join a Facebook group. Please do. On there, we're going to be able to connect, break bread. As a fun fact, when I first started writing these immigration evaluations, it, it felt pretty lonely. I didn't see a lot of clinicians in the field that wrote immigration evaluations, and it became difficult to connect and to break bread with uh, professionals in the field. So that Facebook group is a community of family that hopefully we're able to get to know each other, support each other, and then grow together as we move forward. After that section, we go into the common immigration cases. And then in the common immigration cases, you're going to have a breakdown of each one, just so that as a clinician, not from that legal side, we don't want, we're not, we're not attorneys, right? Um, we chose mental health programs, so as clinicians, we're able to look at these common cases. The first one that's going to be broken down extensively is going to be your U visa. And then after that one, you see the T visa, then you see your VAWA, then it goes into the waivers, and then it goes into asylum, special immigration juvenile status, uh, status case. And then after that, it goes into um, working with the client from start to finish. Now, prior to working with the client from start to finish, those cases that you're gonna have in that course, I presented those in a manner where you as a clinician are able to, to look at each and say, okay, from the clinical side, this is the content and knowledge that I need to be able to best support my client as they move forward versus the legal side, because attorneys are doing something a little bit different than what we're doing from the clinical side. Now. Um, as far as working with the client from start to finish, it's probably exactly what you're thinking. You know, if you're a clinician already and you're engaging in psychotherapy, you're, you're counseling and you're working with patients, you have a start process and then you have an end process, all the way from the intake to where they're exiting out, discharge, or being referred out, correct? Now, when we write evaluations, we do something very similar, so I present that to you. That way, whenever you're working with your client, you're able to say, okay, this is how I start from the beginning, and this is how I go all the way, all the way to the end point. And then after that, we go into maybe what you're excited about. We go into the writing process. Now, the writing process, I have many different templates for you. I've got templates for your, your, your Vival case, your Uvisa case, templates for waivers. And each one is created with a certain style to it, which you'll see. And then in, those, uh, in, that, in that section of the course, I go in more detail. But overall, as far as each template, you're going to have a section that tells you this is the focus of it. And then I kind of give you an example of what it looks like, and then it keeps going down. So you've got these really beautiful, amazing templates that you can utilize in your practice, uh, and you can tweak them, adjust them as you need to. After that point, we go into um, marketing. So marketing is all about, you know, hey guys, I've got a practice here. I have, I have the clinical skills. I went to school. I'm able to provide a really great, amazing service. Schedule your first call, right? And, and we can't just wait. So I wanna, I wanna be able to work with you, hold hands if you will, so that we're building marketing skills that connect to this niche area of writing immigration evaluations. And of course, you're gonna be receiving some templates, you're gonna be receiving conversations just like this where we connect with each other and we're able to look at, this is how I implement X marketing skill and this is how I play it out in my practice. And then after that point, we are at the end. We, we completed the course. Now this is a course where you can just buckle down and do it all in one day. It's probably gonna fry that noggin up there, but you can. Now the beautiful um, aspect of this course too is that it's lifelong. You have it, you know, all the way. And over time, I'll continue to make updates on the course. And I do that because that legal side, and again, we're not attorneys, but the legal side, there's changes in laws. And sometimes those legal uh, changes impact what we do on the clinical side. Now as a side note, all of this, this entire course, was built through a collaborative process with myself and a local uh, attorney here in North Carolina, Alex Efe, where we sat down and we did the videos together, we did the entire workshop together. 
So you'll be able to, in the, in the videos that you see, the lectures that go, especially over the cases, you'll be able to see his face on there, my face on there, and we kind of go back and forth in an interview-like process. So again, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. And thank you for committing to, to really working in this, uh, this, this special area. It's something that I'm passionate about as a clinician, uh, something that I'm passionate about just personal in my life. So I really do appreciate your kindness, and I will see you in the Facebook group. Take care.